Hello everyone, Holly Prissy Pants here. So some of you have been asking me how I've been making my Dutch pour sunflowers. So I thought I would make a video so I could show you how I do it. First, uh, I usually take a ruler and I will measure my center. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. So I've already marked my center right here. And then next, I have this little nifty Tupperware top that I use. And I will put the center where I've marked my center on the canvas and draw the outline with a pencil. And now I have my center of my sunflower. Um, after that, I will go back in and I usually will draw lines with the pencil as well and uh, so I know where I wanna blow my petals out. Now, sometimes it works out and sometimes I end up going rogue and doing it a different way, but it kinda gives me some direction when I'm doing this. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do now, after I've done all that prep, is I'm going to lay down my base paint and most of the time I've been using just a white base um, I generally will use Amsterdam paint mixed with creative inspirations because I think that mixing both of those together um, for one it saves me a little bit of money and they seem to lay on the canvas quite nicely and dry really well. So here we go. I'm trying to get my gloves on. I leave a little bit of space for my colors above my center line where I've uh, drawn the center of my flower right here. go and you want to make sure that you get all the sides nicely so I'll go around the sides get the corners and then I start laying it on thick not very thick but you know what I mean enough to be able to spread it out because you want to have some kind of of thickness on the base paint so you can blow out your colors. Otherwise, your colors are gonna get stuck and they're not gonna wanna move anywhere. So let's see. And I have this tool right here and I just try and spread my paint out, work my way from where the center of my sunflower is gonna be and out to the edges of the canvas. Don't worry about those bubbles. We'll, we'll pop those with the torch in just a second. All right, nothing special. Enough to cover the canvas and let our colors flow. And I go around the sides with my finger and make sure I didn't miss any spots. All right, now we're gonna start laying down the colors. I usually will start with, let's see, this color is brown nutmeg, I believe, mixed with a little bit of copper from Amsterdam, and the brown nutmeg, nutmeg is from Liquitex. So I'm just doing a, a thin line around where my center is going to be. I like the effect that the brown gives um, when I blow it out. Sometimes it will help line the petals along with the other colors and sometimes it will create this nice 
um, blend with the darker center. This is a burnt sienna. And I just do a thin layer of this because a little goes a long way with this color. Some of my sunflowers don't have this uh, burnt sienna in it. I just have a couple that do, and I really like the way that it came out. So we're going to do it today because I have a lot of extra left over. Here goes my darker yellow. I can't remember what yellow this is, but I will put it up when I remember. <laughs> Sorry about that. This color is a uh, yellow oxide, I believe, from Liquitex. It's just a little bit lighter than the last yellow. It's, I'd say a little bit more golden. And I put a wider layer of this usually. I like how it creates contrast with the pure yellow colors. And it looks really pretty when you blow it out into the petals. Now, I don't usually put gold, but I think I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna put a little bit of gold after this color. Just a little line. I've been really curious to see how this will play with my sunflower. I'm not doing very good. It's kind of groovy. That's okay though. We'll make it work. Maybe I'll just use the cup. There we go. That's a little better, but that's a lot of gold. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I have a another shade of yellow that I'm going to throw down and I'll just put it over the top of gold so it's a little more even. This is going to be interesting. I don't usually use this many colors. I think it might turn out to be pretty. We'll see. This is a metallic lemon yellow from uh, Artist Loft. It's a really pretty color. Um, this is the color that I usually put the most of, but running out of room. All right. That should be good. Give me a little bit more there. All right, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to get my torch. Try to find, hold on. We have things spread all over the garage here. All right, here we go. Now we're going to pop the air bubbles. real quick and then we can blow it out and see what we get. Alright. I'm hoping that this gold that I put down is going to give me some more cells when I blow it out. I really like that effect. I think it's very pretty. Okay. Now I have my little hair dryer. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That I use. I um, depending on how much I want to push the paint is how I determine whether I want it on high or low. So I start on low and I press my cool button and I kind of see what it gives me. If it's uh, not blowing enough for me, then. I will turn it up to a higher speed. 
let's see what we get. Oh, also, when I'm blowing my petals out, I usually start with these side petals. I don't go straight for the middle one. I like to uh, create the layer effect. So I'll start with this one and do this one, and I might skip over here and do these, and then I'll uh, do the middle one or I'll end up blowing uh, two more in the middle. We'll, we'll see how it looks. All right, so that's not, that's not blowing enough for me, so I'm gonna turn it up high. Oh, that's pretty. I gotta get a chunk out of it though, hold on. Nobody wants chunks. Okay, all right, let's do the second pedal. I can see my paint's pulling up and I want to push that off. It looks cool, but it's not as much yellow as I usually get, and I, I just don't know. But we're going to work with it. I really like all this uh, lacing and these cells. I think they're very pretty, and it comes all the way up here through the petals. Looks pretty. All right, well, let's do the center now. We usually put the darker brown in the center. So uh, this is a brown nutmeg mixed with a little bit of black from Amsterdam. The brown nutmeg is the Liquitex that I mentioned before. Usually draw a line where I stenciled it with my pencil. Get my edge 
edges. And then enough that I can stretch it out and cover it up. Now sometimes I will add colors in the middle and but I, I rather like having it just be simple sometimes. I think it blends nicely and it looks really good when it dries too. I was just blowing my um, the edge of that center out with my mouth so it's more um, even that moved a little now I'm just doing little finishing touches over here so everything is symmetrical too much. Um, pardon my head. All right, there we go. So I'm going to get my torch and blow out all the bubbles. Sometimes some more cells will pop up in the painting because of it too, which is really cool. Never have enough cells. No, did I drip over there? Darn it. Maybe I can get that off. It happens. See what we can do about that. dipping my finger all right well it's not perfect but it's kind of cool so uh, sometimes I also will take my finger and go around the edge looks kind of silly but what's neat is some of that color from underneath will pop up and it just creates a little frame around the outside burnt sienna popping up so there we go there that's how I do my sunflowers um, I'm sure if you use less of the browns and golds you'll get more of the yellow effect like I like I did before when I first started making these so I hope you guys have a good day and I hope that helped you